Well, it's almost time for Santa, you guys. I'm making cocktail sauce. I just peeled and vein six pounds of shrimp for a Christmas party I have to go to. And I got to cook them. There's all the junk in them. They have a lot of junk in them. Shrimp do. People don't realize it. Them big shrimp. Shrimp gump. Gump shrimp. Shrimp gumbo. Okay. Stand by. It's a beautiful day. It's windy as crap. Oh, look at that. A little hunter. Having a little bird seed, are we? You turkey, you. I got him in the fire. The thing about shrimp is you want to make them, don't make the mistake of cooking them a minute or two long. And when they're done, you want to dump them in some really cold water with ice in it. And that's the water. That's cold, but I haven't added the ice yet. But I'm damn close to adding ice just in a few minutes. Let's turn these little taquitos a few more times. And they'll be ready. Stand by. Okay, now to add the ice and the water. It's fogged up. <laughs> That's almost the living end right there. I like them. Into the refrigerator. Well, I, I told him about it. And he couldn't call me because um Miss Bee was to be on the couch. Try to find Mason. Try to find Mason. I gotta find Mason. Okay. Mason. Okay. Hello, Mason. 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 While I was at the party, I got a call from a guy. Said he had some knives he wanted me to sharpen. Looks like cleavers in that to me. Stand by. You scaredy cat. There you go, Jack. What are you doing, scaredy cat? Hey, mom's an old Foster Brothers trademark. Carbon steel cleaver. This is the biggest one. It looks like they took a grinder or something to it. To try to try to get the dust off of it. The rust and dust and lust. This side's not too bad. You see it? The other one is in kind of rough shape. I can't make out a name on this one. I can't make out anything. Nothing on the handle. Hmm. And I thought the other one was a Chinese cleaver, but actually it's a Dexter. I got two just like it. South Bridge, Mississippi. High carbon. And you see the same thing, it looks like a, a Dremel or a Luffy Wee, I mean a grinder or something was used on it. And the knife is a nice Wustoff, an old one. The Ed Wustoff, Dryzak Work, solid in Germany. The tips broke off of it, but it's not too bad a shape. It's got a few little scratches here now. I think I can get most of them out. After Christmas, nice work. I like it. The tip is kind of dark. Looks like it got heated up or something. You notice it? Can you see the discoloration in it? I don't know what that's all about. And that's what happened. They heated it up to do something and the tip broke off, maybe. Okay. Security cat, you're having a hard time, ain't you, security cat? <laughs> Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. Come on. Okay. 
I got two reports I need to share with you. The Mummel's man, I think I told you he was under the weather last week. So I've been checking on him and I talked to him today and he felt so bad yesterday they had to go to the dock in the box today to get some more uh, work checked out. And they found that sinus or whatever it was was uh, not responding very well to the medication. So they sent him back to the drugstore for some stronger meds. He's, uh, he says he's in really bad shape. He's, he hopes this new stuff brings him around. I asked him, did he want to go for a spin Saturday? And he said, no, I can't go. But anyway, what I'm trying to share with is uh, Beaver went yesterday, and I think it was yesterday, and found some really nice uh, buttons, two of them. Stand by. I can't get this picture to open them up, but he found a bracelet and two buttons. One's got a, one looks like a British button, and the other one doesn't have hardly anything on it. It's flat, but it's got this gold and gilt on the back. You can probably see a little bit better picture of it there. There's a button, button patch down there at Landonada. So there's a little bit of stuff moving around. You can see he found a lot of stuff. But the only thing of interest was the, uh, there's a U.S. pen like you put in your lap when you're in the Army in the 60s. And a junk ring and those two buttons. So there's a few things moving around, looks like. Okay. I'll see you. Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope everybody gets a big thing from Santa. We'll see you in a day or so. Please, Indian, look it up. Can you see them? They're having a hell of a time. <laughs> I know you can't see it, but it's dark in there. <laughs> okay, that's it. Merry Christmas again. See you later. Happy New Year. That'll be in a couple weeks.